going with the granny glasses. Oh, right, OK. I don't remember the birds, Mike. They're probably you, more your era. Yeah, you're not old enough. I've done the Bon Jovi jokes remember. yesterday, so we won't do them today. I hope it's in fair view. <laughs> Pretty cagey start, isn't it, as we uh, we anticipated to start with it. Uh, you know, a bit of the way for both players. So the first time you re raise chat me, a while. I promise to re-raise your back. Did you know what I said? OK. Do you know what I just said? Yeah. Sometimes it's better to throw a marginal land away yeah. and get yourself in trouble. With I've it. not got a chance of throwing away. You keep throwing away first. <laughs> well, it's difficult when I do that. You do throw yours away afterwards, though. Huh? This is more table talk than we've heard in any match so far. It will be in this match, I'm afraid. Uh, like I say, the Devilfish is known for it, and Steve Pearce will be up for this sort of battle if that's what he wants. Jack 10. And the march, Jack of Spades for Stephen Pierce, small blind. And uh, Mr. Rollins found something uh, in the large blind to blow. Last. We've got some action. So with the King Queen, he calls, and Stephen Pierce says, finally, some action. Yeah, Dave with the best hand, and Steve with the best position. Here's the flop. Four of Spades, nine of Diamonds, eight of Hearts. Gives Stephen Pierce the up and down straight draw. A seven or a queen to make a straight. Yeah, well that's up and down, or down and up, I suppose. The way you said it, it was, but it doesn't really matter. Dave checks and Stevens bet it. What we call betting on the com or betting on the draw. And here's the turn card. Deuce and diamonds. Deuce. No LP the way. Steve still betting uh, on the command. Might force well, Dave to throw the best hand away here. I guess have to give you it. He has. Yeah, good play I'm from drawing. Steve. Like I said he's, he's going to show him as well. He, he, doesn't show him? he doesn't want to show this hand now. He, he showed did. Him. Yeah, he shouldn't really showed him that. He shouldn't have showed him that because he's, he's just a uh, bit, bit of an ego trip there for Steve. You know, getting Devilfish to throw away a better hand once Devilfish shows him a better hand. He should have just said, yeah, good pass, mate, and fold his face down there. Even I could sense that. Yeah. Yeah, would have been better doing that because it might... I'd have only got another three, four thousand off your maximum. And he's telling him how he would have bet it. The river, yeah, it's, it's Unless the king came. <laughs> then you probably <laughs> <Dave> looking. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm impressed. Yeah, he's yeah. not impressed, really. He's probably getting... Uh, probably getting... Uh, OK. A bit of instruction there from the uh, match director. Yeah. Meg. Um, yeah, he's probably just getting a uh, little bit of information there. And uh, that's taking it all in, Dave. He's, he's been here before many times, so it'll uh, be nothing new to him. Three times, so about ten jacks. Well, Steve certainly isn't phased, is he? He's, he's, uh, he's a chatterbox. He is. I told you this is the way he's going to take you. you know, this is the way he's going to play you. I'll lose it. Who knows? Another ace on the Too button big. for the Devilfish. Oh, no, Pocket eight. This is just this a bad one. Uh, little Snowman, I think they called with one or two commentators. Uh, for Stephen Pierce. So we, we should see some more action. And you see a just about a 70-30 advantage. Yeah. It's in uh, pretty one, good shape, Steve. One percent would be a split pot. Yeah, there's. Uh, we won't count that one till it comes. We'll leave one percent <laughs> to the uh, for the anoraks and train spotters. Oh, and there's the third eight, and there's three sevens. Oh, look sevens. at this. This this is going to be costly for one of them, and at the moment it's very costly for De Dave Ulliott. He thinks he's in command, and he's uh, he's looking at a full house made. This should be Very interesting. Much. Let's see how good he really is now. This is a monster hand heads up. Absolute monster. 1,800 from Dave Elliott. Uh, just flat calling, probably. Oh, no, no. What's he doing now? He's trying to... Up to uh, 7,000, oh, Stephen Pierce raising, asking Elliott a lot. Yeah, actually, it's not such a bad play, because he's, uh, he's probably overbetting his hand, and Elliott uh, may say all in or something. Call. There you yeah, go. He's, he fallen, he's fallen for the bait, and we might Dave be losing Dave, Dave the devil fish here. Yeah. Yeah. And look at the percentages on this. Let's see look what happens this. when he's he turns gonna him. He's going to be gutted. Absolutely gutted when he sees this. Is this a call, Dick? He's only got a uh, set of sevens, and he goes all in to a, a full house. And he needs running aces. The devil fish Elliot after eight hands. There's a ten. Now he's down to the seven. Let me just sit down. And here is the river card. It's a That's six, it. and Dave Elliott is gone. Dave Elliott, last year's losing semifinalist, is out after eight hands to Stephen Pierce. Elgin's got the better of him, really. He fell hook, line, and sinker, didn't he? And there's Steve Pierce. This is one hell of a scalp for him to take.
eights and sevens. Stephen Pierce with a big raise. Dave Elliott came back all in. Stephen Pierce, no hesitation in calling him, and it was over. Steve, it's got to be a great feeling. How do you feel about this win today? Fantastic. Best moment in my poker life. Well, obviously, they got the wrong name in this box here. It should be Devilfish, you know. But what happened was, um, you know, it, it was an absolute, uh, what we call a cold deck, you know, where there's absolutely nothing you can do about it, you know. I mean, there's nobody in, who can play poker in the world who would play the hand any different. Um, I mean, it, it came down like 7-7-8 uh, seven, seven, with the 7-8 of clubs. I got A7. I bet he raised, and um, he, he made it 6,000, I think, or something like that. A big bet. And I don't want to give him a free go out of flush or straight. So, you know, I've got no choice but to uh, move the chips. And then, of course, he had me strangled. I was dead to 1-7. So, it's just very unlucky, you know. That's the only way they're going to beat the fish, you know. I mean, it's got to be a cold deck situation. I mean, if it had come down 7-7-8 seven, seven, and there was no flush draw there, maybe when he raises, I'd just call him. You know, next card, uh, if a club comes off, you know, if a straight comes off or something, I can get away, but the way it went, impossible. So that's it for Dave the Devilfish Elliott. And our next game coming up is Yin Kai Lin and Chui Goi Chung. And you see them playing out on the casino floor earlier. Fast back and forth action from these two Chinese, both of whom now live and play in Europe. They've been going at it for a good period of time, about 45 minutes before we picked up the action. 30 hands or so, and Yin, who you see there on the left, is up by about a 3-1 to one margin. And that's Yin Kai Lin, who's 54 years old, from China, but now lives in Vienna, Austria. He's a very, very experienced player, started playing at the age of 14, and I should say I in China, five-card stud is the preferred game, not Texas Hold'em. Chui also started in Vienna, but now lives in Paris. He's lived there for 17 years. This is his first time appearance, and he's been playing Texas Hold'em for eight years. So a queen three for Chui. Three of diamonds, queen of spades. Claws on the button. And five of spades, two of hearts for Yen. He'll check and we'll see a flop. And there is the flop. Ten of spades, two of spades, check. and six of spades. So they each have the flush draw. Yin's got the pair of deuces with the five flush, and uh, Chewie's got the queen flush draw. Pretty uh, even Stevens, not much in it at this point, uh, percentage-wise. Fairly strong bet from Chewie. Little test for Yen, isn't it? He's trying to work out, well, I might be in front, but is it any good? And do I want to draw to a five flush? Well, well I didn't make this decision. I'm certainly not going to try and second guess this one. It could fold, raise, pass, or be all in before I've even uh, worked out what he's going to do. It's on. And he calls. So we'll see the turn now. And now it's a pair of threes against a pair of deuces. They're still both on the flush draw. Yeah, well, that makes Choi Gukin's hand, or Goy Quinn's hand, uh, a monster now, doesn't he? He's got the best pair and the best draw now, so uh, Yin's in all sorts of trouble now if he wants to proceed with this one. So, uh, an offsuit four would make him a straight if we look at the board there. Two, six, and three down. So another four would make him two, three, four, five, six, but I don't think that's what he's thinking of at the moment. And there's the spades, and now the queen high flush is yeah. the best hand. <laughs> And a 5-I flush, or a 10-I flush with the 5, including the 5 of spades in his hand, and his opponent's uh, 
and see how this one pans out. Yin's checked. We're on to 